Hey Burly Blue Grill, I'm happy you got your enthusiasm back. When the lease and patch hit you had a serious down phase. I personally am glad that I can enjoy the stream again. I also somehow became mod. Seven months. You did become a mod. Yes. Minerals were- you, you were a loyal stream viewer. I, I reward loyal viewership with mod eventually. That's the- That's the- that's the eventual reward of loyal viewership. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, seven months though, Minerals. Rather a punishment. Listen, if you watch long enough, you get to work for the stream, okay? That's how it works. Listen, work is a privilege. I don't, don't, uh, don't take that in the wrong way, it's just, you know, it's, that's, you know, that's our, that's our motto here, work is a privilege. <laughs> you know, l listen, listen, this unpaid internship on my stream, it's gonna give you so much job experience. It's gonna give you so much job experience, guys. It's gonna look so good on your resume. <laughs> it's, you're practically, think about, think about all the future value you're accruing for think about all the future value you're gonna get from this this unpaid position <laughs>Concerted is nice uh, if you face Aesol, and it's quite bad if you don't. It's one of the only cards that can actually kill Aesol. But, uh, no Aesol mirrors, and it's... Uh, it's not great. Uh. Okay. The target no, the target monument is not uh, it's not a strong card. Uh we'll just compare the versions. I mean one just they run different champs. Um one runs more of the Solari package, one runs less of it. Pretty much it. Not a not a huge difference. Uh I think it's you probably you wanna run uh you don't really have room for a lot of the cards you want if you run the full Solari pocket package, so it's probably better not to. Usually people default really fast into wanting to win games rather than just play new stuff. Hey, you my dude, these are, I have two new cards, guys. Two. That's a lot. It's pretty good for him. But I, I do get Zoe. It's still a two for one at the end of the day. And Hush is gonna be solid against me anyways, so Yeah. My spirit shines. With star shaping I have a lot of heal as well. Uh, I have no idea. It's hard to say. You're gonna have to wait a week or so for the meta to really settle. I think Grand Plaza will be a staple. Um, Go Hard will probably stay a staple in some form. Um, hard to say if, like, Victor will be a staple or not. I think it's- uh, Victor's a bit dependent on what cards end up being good, what decks end up- what other decks end up being good. I think that's uh, likely to matter a lot for Victor. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Go hard in Plaza meta? Go hard can beat Plaza, it's possible. It's 
That's a lot of uh, mana to hold up. This is looking pretty good. It might be good to drop this on an off turn because it already has challenger. That way we get like full challenger value from our uh, Grand Plaza. May all those who journey you and I be free, haven't we? Aurelian is uh, very good in this deck for sure. Uh, I don't play it, I got it from Egghead. I like Egghead in this deck if you're not running Leona. It's like really good to play Egghead if you don't run Leona. Or early drop that gives you a lot of value. So yeah, we just have a lot of good challenges here. Well, two, and we just attack. He wants to pass all of that mana, really. He, uh, look at how much mana he's losing. Am I crazy to just pass here? Eh. Maybe. Radiant strikes. <sighs> well, that's two good attacks. Hold still. Okay. There's any reason to pass back there. This hand might be quite awkward. And I'm just, uh... Tag like, this is a deck that just generates endless amount of cards, but if we just draw a soul, we'll be fine. All we Pretty much all we need to do in this matchup is draw a soul from what I've seen of it so far. A soul is pretty much game. Yeah, okay. I fight for the fallen. Yeah, they run a main deck, I think. This is pretty good for next round anyway. It's a lot of pressure on him. We could also nightfall this and see what happens. It might be better actually. If he plays a soul into Eclipse. It's actually really bad for him. I think we have to keep the pressure on here. This should be this should be the line. So he just keeps passing. Full on passer. Yeah, he runs two copies of A Soul or something like that. Yeah, his deck is just endless value, but he's losing on mana usually most turns. We're just gonna have to focus on that. Why Eclipse Dragon over Stalking Broodmother? I think that- are you trolling? What is Stalking Broodmother? 
I don't think that's even a card that's played. Is it the scout thing? The scout dragon is just like the scout dragon is like the worst dragon. I think he knows that though, but who knows? Yeah, this is just pure greed from opponent. It's doing pretty well. Pure greed does all right against. I, like I need a soul to beat this. Uh, like you can see, he's always gonna draw more cards than me, but I have a better deck to level a soul with. So that's our advantage, but yeah, there's no guarantee. That's our main advantage is Aesol. Like he has Aesol as well, but... Um... Well, I need to draw Hush, obviously. I mean, can I afford to take this much damage? Like, probably not, actually. I think I actually just should play this for tempo here. Don't need the life steal. Justice will be served. Daggle, daggle, daggle. You will be scoured from this land. The this Zoe is pretty threatening here, actually. Scryer is scary, but Zoe is scary too. Um, if I don't uh, challenge Zoe now, she might level next round. Like he has, he can cast a lot of you know cheap cards. Oh, we actually got a soul. Okay. All right, we're uh, we're doing stuff here. He's almost certainly can't kill me next turn, either. So, despite the basically infinite value from his deck, we're actually in a pretty good position. Yeah. He can cast a lot of his spells for very cheap here. He has that going for him. Everything that's created is too less. This is what I was talking about where Victor is just another Mountain Scryer. It's a, it's a pretty strong way to play him. He's only going to be plus one though. It's not that big a deal. I steal. Okay. Let's just go for this. Just force him to have the removal this round. This is what I'm talking about, where, like, uh, our Aesol just levels pretty easily. Like, if he had Aesol this round, it wouldn't level. 
Whereas Ari Soul, no problem leveling. Everything from this is going to be two less. That's pretty scary. He could hush. Uh, no, he can't. Seven. He can hush on like uh, cosmic. I don't think he can remove a soul anymore on seven mana. He would have to have gotten a comet earlier, which is possible. He can hush and comet. This is a very good deck for ladder for sure. Yeah, fifteen. It's not enough though. Not enough to kill me. It's a lot. Not enough to kill me. So the goal here is to empty our hand and then, um... Yes. I do love an audience. Sometimes you just need a galaxy destroyed. Genius in action! I mean, this is going to be a big turn. Either way, okay, he, he should be dead now. That pretty much seals it. This is very over. That's what I mean by you draw a soul against this deck and they really can't win. That was a good YouTube game. Was Star Shaping good in this game? I actually don't think it was that good. I guess we can try for Guiding. Guiding instead of Concerted. 5 mana heal 5 or 2 mana heal 2. Mm -mm. It's hard. No, actually, you'd be surprised how often those games go down. If you're in Targon Mirrors, games like that, digs are actually somewhat common. That's like, that's almost standard for Targon Mirrors. Two mana better in this deck. 